ocean. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. Hmm. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Okay, well, um, let's see. Yeah, we can see decently here. monster music starting. Dang, I don't even know where the monster is. That's the problem. Okay, let's just go this way and hope it's not. Do you see one? Can't even see. That's a problem. Monster music is over. It's so nice that it starts up. Thank you, off screen orchestra. It lets us know where the monsters are, even if we can't see them. Alright, now which way are we going anyway? Um I guess we just follow I guess we might as well just follow that. So that leads here. Okay, I thought I heard something. Yeah, I guess as long as the spooky monster music doesn't start, it's not a problem. Okay, break open. Um, try this. Hey, we got something. Yeah, that I think that's that thing we're supposed to get in the choir. All right, well, let's see what's in here. Close this just in case more monsters come. follow that back. Not like there's much of an other way to figure out where anything is. Alright, hope we don't encounter any more monsters. Just 
Stay ducking, that way it will be harder for them to find us. If they do see us. I mean, if they're in the area, it will be harder to find for them to find us if we are... Yeah, I'm not thinking very clearly. Alright, one more. Ah? Uh oh, there's a monster. I saw it. Gotta hide. There it is. Did you see it? Alright, we just need to hide. Stay hidden. Okay, now it's going away, I think. Everything, it's kind of hard to see because, you know, it's all blurry when a monster appears. Because, I don't know, um, the camera Lakitu's, uh, put their camera out of focus? I mean, I know it's supposed to be less sanity, but I don't know why the camera Lakitu's are playing along with that. Camera Lakitu's! Spooky monster music is still going on. Stay right here, hiding behind this pillar. Man, these things go up high. So what is all that red stuff anyway? Alright, music is gone. The coast is clear. Thank you, uh, again, off-screen orchestra. You're being a lot more useful than the camera Lakitus have been. Well, I mean, that, that time I heard the monster before the uh, off-screen orchestra started up. Alright, so we're still following along this. I keep hearing things that sound like monster bones, and I'm like, ah, is that a monster? That's what we were following, right? Got it, okay. So is that like from the ceiling? You know, here's a real question. What does this have to do with a choir? I'm not like, are there singers here? Where did, where did, I mean, cause that's what I thought a choir was. Okay, so this is the entrance, right? Okay, um... Right, I guess we go this way then. I am... I think these are the thingies that you know... The, uh... Torture chambers, because there's that thing where they're talking about how it went through the... Pipes, I think it's going through these, so they must lead us to them. Well, it's a way of navigation. Although, would... The sound really be able to travel such a long distance? I mean, I, I'm not really that scientific a person, but would it really work like this? I mean, maybe it would. Heck if I know. Oh wait, what am I saying? Of course it would work. I mean, it's clearly been working here. Okay. in here. I don't think so, so I think we can stand. So what the heck is this? Ah! Okay, um... That was, uh, scary. So what is... like that, um, that, uh, that thing from, oh man, I can't believe this is what's making me think of, but do you remember, uh, that, like, book, Matilda, and there's that, uh, part, uh, actually, and there's, like, the movie, and there's that part where, like, the mean person, like, the Trunchbull, would, uh, put kids in, um, this sort of 
cabinet thing, and there were like spikes and stuff in it, uh, and so you had to stand perfectly still or else you would get like all cut and stuff. Okay, and that really could, I mean, that would not fly legally. I mean, I like some of his books, but l let's just face it, when it came to implausibilities, Roald Dahl was just absurd. I mean, just complete suspension of disbelief being destroyed. Alright, anything else here? I mean, we found something. The orb piece, I mean. And you know, as long as I'm talking about Roald Dahl, am I the only person who really didn't like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory that much? I mean, Charlie and the Great Class Elevator, the sequel, I liked that a lot more. I feel like it took the stuff I liked from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory while getting rid of the stuff I didn't like. But that's a completely different thing. Anyway, back to the out here where the monsters are. But anyway, so yeah, that's what it made me think of, that, uh, thing from Matilda. How long has it been since I read that book, and I still remember that? I can't believe it. I mean, I can't remember much else about the book. Uh, there's this girl named Matilda, and she has psychic powers or something, and stuff happens. Okay, I can remember a little more than that, but really, it was mostly that part about the, uh, the, the thing, the thing that was like that torture thing, it was called the Chokey, I think. How do I freaking remember that? Ugh. I, it's been so long, man. And again, I was a big fan of that book when I was a kid. Alright, okay, okay. But but enough about uh, creepy uh, children's books. Let's get back to uh, creepy, um, you know, adult games. So, we're following this. Oh dang. Oh crud. Oh crud. Dang, I have no idea where that monster is. Ah! Bugs on the camera look at two screens. Okay, where is it? There it is. I'm getting out of here right now. I saw it. I, I could try to hide, but it's easier to just do it this way. Might have been more interesting to hide, actually. Instead of just, you know, running out here. You know, I wonder something. Because the spooky monster music is still on, does that mean if we were to go back into there, the monster would be there? And it's only gone by the time the music is done with? Well, uh, that's an experiment I'm not interested in trying right now. Alright, so, we're back here. Into the choir. Wait, stay down. Okay, so. We are still following this. Yeah, so again, I hear the moan before the spooky monster music starts up. I think we have to go along this way to cross it. I think I'm going to stay here because this way I think it's a little easier to hide if a monster shows up because, you know, we'll be like here, more toward between the wall and the pillar, harder to find to see us. This is not a great place to hide. 
Didn't see us, oh thank goodness. Whew. Guess it just didn't look close enough here. Alright, so here's a question. Do we take this opportunity to run off? Or um before it comes back? Or what if it comes back and sees us? Well, it's gone. Oof, that was a very close one. Do whatever it takes. Ah, man, that I was so tense from that monster that that do whatever it takes nearly made me jump. Okay, um. All right, so um. All right, so what's here? The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them full between the frame. Yeah. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. <sighs> okay. This is really creepy. You know, you know, in some ways, even though this is kind of harmless to us, this is way more creepy than the monsters. So, um, guess we can do this to see. Ugh, why am I looking at these things? Just know it'll be all, you know, yeah. Okay, well, we got the orb. Anything else of interest here? Light. How is there light coming? When, you know, I mean, like, look, here's light, but you just go straight outside and it's all, like, red. Like a red, uh, sky. Like, um, um, like, you know, that, uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Well, we found the thing we were looking for. Now I guess we just have to make our way out. Ugh. Sounds like grunting. You know it's a monster grunting. Man, I cannot wait to get out of here. Again, see, it's red, so where's that, like, you know, more pure light coming from? <sighs> yeah. I don't know, this, this rock kind of looks a little like a face, doesn't it to you? Kind of? Maybe it's just me. Okay, well. <sighs> Man, all those noises just keeps me thinking something's gonna happen. Alright, we'll, we'll, we just gotta get out of here and then we'll get back to the area that I think is safe. Yeah, 
that's what this is making me say, say, bleh. And not like, you know, the child is, bleh. I mean, more like, a literal, like, bleh. I mean, you know, like a true kind of, ooh, gross. Hey, huh, those guys aren't hanging there anymore. Maybe they were hallucinations.